Hey, good morning, guys. It is Monday, Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day to everybody out there. Hey, let's uh, let's do some expectation management, though, right? We're, we're about to have a good day. I may even be on a stream today. So everything's going to be great, but let's get, let's get some expectation management out of the way first because it's still a Monday, right? It's still a Monday. You never know. Hopefully, you're not at work. I mean, who gets off on Monday? Just uh, so, <laughs> whew, so to speak. Government workers, military, that kind of thing. Everybody else is probably working. So still a miserable Monday. Here we go. Oh, hey, look. Things started out pretty well. E75, shot him right in the side. We bounce one. Wow, okay, this is good. Um, <laughs> clearly, it's not going to keep on going that well, is it? Because it is Monday. And uh, we're going to eat 912 from a heat shell from a JPZ E100. Now, you ever have those games where you're, you get tilted immediately? I was I was tilted right here. I'm trying to do the 10,000 damage blocked and done and taken mission right here. So I immediately eat a gigantic heat shot from the JPZ. I'm thinking, well, let me get some bounces here. If I can if I can get him to bounce off my angled turret or the side of my tank. Okay, well, the E75 hits me, but I can't see him. <laughs> Clearly, my spotting point did not come out around the edge. So I'll just, okay. Oh, boy. Expectation management, folks. You know, sometimes when you go and tilt and you start uh, you start dueling, you start uh, jousting with a JPZ-100, it might, it might not go well for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> well, that was a pretty big hit, wasn't it? You want to see a bigger one? <laughs> so this happened on stream. I think a lot of you may have seen this. I bring my E50M, which was a requested tank to play. I come up here and I see, okay, there's some tanks to shoot. We got... Got an STB, a Kron, another E50. So not too bad. It's looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. Let me see if I can sneak a shot. No, I don't know. I don't really... Do I want to go around the corner with a Kron hold down? Not really. Not when he's got multiple friends. The the WZ-111 is not as bothered. And then there's an FV who shoots at somebody else. I go for a shot and I miss that guy. I'm like, oh, darn, okay. That's all right. Let's keep working it. We'll work it carefully. There is a 4005, so I, I have to be cognizant of that guy. We've got these guys stuffed in the corner, though, and the 4005's back there. Oh, no, here comes a 60 TP. That's a problem because he hits hard. WZ's crying for help. The 4005's pushed in the corner. That guy backs off, and maybe I can just do a little reverse side scrape action here. Maybe if I reverse side scrape. No, I think better of it this time. But I'm looking for that opportunity, right? I want to I want to get in there. Here we go. This is it. We got it. This will work. Yep. Okay, good. There's a little shot into that guy. <laughs> 1,584 points. Notice that I mentioned the 4,005. In fact, I mentioned the 4,005 on stream, but he had fired and backed up. And I'm thinking, well, surely we'll be fine. We can come around here, side scrape. But uh, no, he pretty much had a nice side shot on my big billboard side pen for 1,584 Awesome. Monday, folks. So I just mentioned I was doing a heavy tank mission with, what, two replays ago with the 705. And I'm trying to get that 10,000 done and bounce. And I played the ST1 and the 705 were the two tanks I decided to give this a shot with. Tier 9, so it's enough to get a lot of damage. But you can see Tier 7s and 8s, which these two tanks will have a pretty good, pretty easy time bouncing. This was one of the games right here. So I've come around the corner, lost a few hit points to the 53, 55. As I was crossing there in the south, and now I put a little shot on the patent. He puts a little shot back into me, starts to push me a little bit. He's going to out-reload me, so I'm going to try to get a little bounce here. There we go. We get the bounce. I'll chase him because I'm reloaded. Put a shot into him. That works, and we'll try to see if we can bounce another one. All right, fantastic. Things are actually going pretty nicely here. I see the 257 getting rocked. So I have knocked that patent down. We have an mill. There's a bat chat. I don't know what his plan is. Uh, he kills the... Kills the Emil, but his, apparently the rest of his plan is to get thumped. So I do have to be careful about the Emil. I'm thinking about going around and getting the patent, but I don't want to really do it right here. So we'll back out of this. Try to avoid the, the Grille slamming me. I did get spotted, so I sort of expected to get hit there, but I didn't. There's a T49 up above me trolling around as well. And now I just need to get... If I can just get this patent out of this corner where he's spotting, then I can kind of open up this side of the map. And then I can go back... And I feel like I can go help the rest of the team. It looks like a big win is happening. 
things are looking good, right? How this cannot go that badly from here. It's all good. I just don't want to go around the corner and get thumped by the grille. And oh, by the way, way that you 100s posted up here, he'll have shots too. So let's let's be smart. We'll go over here and I'll just pick apart this patent because look at the turret on this bad boy. I mean, this is just the turret of Joe. Oh, oops. Well, okay. So he got a piece of me. Uh, happened to hit me in the side. Of course, there's a lot of space to armor on the side of this. And uh, his heat had no trouble with that. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll come around the side here. I'm going to pick apart. I got 859 hit points. He has 400 something. That's, he's nearly a one shot. I should be able to kill him off. So we'll just come up here. Take a look. Where is this guy? There he is. Let's shoot him dead. No, no, hit it. All right, good on him. He's hiding behind a tank. Fine. So we'll come up here. And why I'm challenging him right now, I don't know. But I'm thinking, whatever, he's not going to pin me. Okay, good. There's a bounce. That works. So let's see if we can just sneak one into his turret. And no, that's going to miss. Okay, fine. We're good. We're, we're good. We got this guy. Fantastic turret of the awesome ST1. Just come up here. And just, oh, okay. Well, that's that's fine. We're fine. Oh, oh geez. Let's go to gun. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, the side of the turret's not nearly as impressive, is it? <laughs> He's just shooting regular APCR. That's a lot of heat there, Patton boy. <laughs> I did not beat him, though. No, I did not. Good old Monday. You know, I talk a lot about being aggressive and finding those early shots, but here's, here's what often happens when you are aggressive and look for early shots. This is a total Monday initial position. I am here on Redshire. I'm going to take this corner. I just know that I can get a shot right here. Right? i got this... A44's got a big gun. Okay, there we go. So we got the IS-3's coming at me. We're going to go ahead and shoot him. And what? <laughs> Both he and a Su-122-44 hit me. He hit me on the <laughs> Oh, man. Such a Monday game. All right, here we go. Big finish. Big finish. Uh, I did mention yesterday my my troubles with the Grill 15. Uh, it was it was a hate-hate relationship. There was no love involved at all. I hated every moment of it. <laughs> And this is, in particular, one of the reasons why I have camped like a big goober up in a bush in the back. And my team is doing okay. And it seems like kind of a critical phase of the battle where we've got some one-shots in here. They've got some better hit points. I need to kind of get a little bit more forward and see if I can help these guys out. So let's let's go ahead and move forward because I know there's a bush up here and a rock. It's not great cover, but it's some. So I see the Progetto 65. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is going to help. This is super going to help my team. We'll just zoom in and we'll shoot in. Yeah crit damage. Oh, all right, fine. We'll come up here. We're now spotted. We do have to watch out. Let's go ahead and hide in this little rock right here. and We'll just reload and see if we can get a shot on this guy. There he is. We got him. No problem. Oh, ow. And now we're... Oh, no. Oh. No. <laughs> no, no. We get nothing. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll just sit behind this rock. <clears throat> I know they know I'm here. A couple artillery's went in. They, ow, that hurts. Yeah, so the 5120 knows I'm in here. He takes a shot. He backs up and all right, we're good. We got it sorted out and uh, we're just hoping now. See, we're in a bit of trouble now because they took down our, our near deads. I really need that fourth. Oh boy. Now there goes the uh, 251. That's not good. So we'll just kind of hang out in here and hopefully one of these dudes makes a move. If the 430 can, I don't know. He really needs to get out of there because we're really in a hurting status. None of us can support each other. I do have the FV with me, so I'm thinking, all right, if they push me, try to come around this corner, maybe uh, look for a blind shot into the bush or something like that, I'll be good. I don't feel like I can really run, because I know that 5120 is there, so it's not a great situation to be in. We'll just sit here waiting, and uh, wait, what? <laughs> all right, got it. I sat in the same bush. There was no place for me to go. He took a guess. Good on him. It was, it was a very educated guess. It was probably a good chance I was still in there. Did I deserve that? Sure. Sure. Is it a game mechanic that shouldn't exist in the game? It is. <laughs> but it does, doesn't it? It does. And it, it gives me miserable Monday material. It, if I'm a Muppet and I sit in the same bush I was spotted on, then I will receive 1,038 damage in return. <laughs> On a Monday. <laughs> There's a lot of big hits on this Monday, wasn't there? Hey, I hope your Veterans Day is good, guys. Really appreciate your service. Thank you for all that. We will see you out there.